Your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Mm. Any news from Leo? <laughs> no, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. <laughs> Alright. Hey, Random. And Corona, I'm okay. How are you? Trying to remember where we left off. That is cool decoration. All right, what is our mission here? Take Carl to dining table, okay. Hey guys. Story for the hostage thing. On maximum moisture, apparently, people at the Ubisoft, uh, Ubisoft Montreal got taken hostage. Except it was just a prank call, as we're finding out now. Yesterday, soy boy. Or the day before, I think, actually. Not sure. Careful key. Helen That's right, Dr. Nate. No more life is strange. Fuck. It still hasn't even sunk in yet. Ah, no more life is strange. Take. Like he's a fucking object. Is this the scene from the meme? I have no idea. Is this game worth it? Well, Skitty, so far, it's not bad. I mean, nothing has happened yet, and it's not super duper exciting so far, but you know. I'm starving. Keep in mind, I've been playing Life is Strange for weeks and weeks. Oh, thank you, Wolfgang and APG Daybreak. Take Carl to dining table, okay. Here you are, sir. This guy has a weird sense of decoration. There's like technology everywhere, but also gaudy old school. Wood stuff, just... What is this, a self-portrait? Alright, serve breakfast. <laughs> Life is Strange is 80% off, really? Hella, yes! Even then, it's not worth it. Even then, they should be the ones paying you to play it. How do I make breakfast for this man? Now, here we go. Hey, Ozzy Born. I should have turned off the notification sounds. That fucking hell, I guess, is giving me PTSD. Here you go. Hello, yes. Okay, this. Thank you, Marcus. Yeah, you're Television. welcome. But... Oh, stuck with me for three months, uh, Jared. God damn it! Okay, this game's straining my patience now with this. Swiping my mouse for every little action thing. This is almost Life is Strange-esque. do while I finish my breakfast? Mm, sure. Mm. Okay, Carl. Okay. Is watching you eat something to do? Maybe not. We could... Pet the giraffe. That is an ugly ass set. Okay, I guess we can play chess.
Jesus Christ. Holy shit, chill. Oh. I thought he was actually playing that whole time. Fancy game of chess? <laughs> sure, yeah. Speed oh, chess. No. Speed chess it is. Jesus. Can I, like, win? Just by pressing one? That's what I call a thorough beating. It's not easy for an old man to compete with a machine. Yeah, no shit. Justify, you're well, human. I know you don't like losing, and you don't like when I let you win, so I felt I didn't have many... You're less than me. True. Suck it up. Humans are complicated. Hmm. You're weak and soft. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. Your squishy balloons you of blood. And make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Except me. Let's go to the studio. Now bring me breakfast, slave. We're in the future, but this guy's wheelchair can't be, like, driven with commands or something. You'd figure in the future these wheelchairs would be self-driving. With studio for what? Oh god, he's an artist. Whoa! How did an artist become this rich? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, okay. Oh, oh sure! Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. This is like if Elon Musk and Picasso had a child, I guess. Oh, what, your fancy robot arm can't remove the sheets? You still need me? Okay. Oh, have fun. Clean studio, all right. What's the point of cleaning this? Look at the floor. It seems like a futile effort. But I guess I'll try. Is there a mop? something else I was supposed to clean, I think. Oh, that's a fancy paint I got him. You're welcome. That is still a fancy-ass box for a tube of paint. Is that really what expensive paint comes in? I wouldn't have any idea. Look at this fancy fuck. So, what's your verdict, Marcus? I don't know, you added like two strokes. Uh, I can't even make out what that is, I'm so I don't like not it. not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is, I have nothing left to say anymore. Each <laughs> Imagine being judged by your toaster. Closer to the end. I'm <laughs> just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. God damn, Carl, you need human you friends. Try. try painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> oh god. You ran right into a trap, my dude. What's her name? I know where our slave master is, Carl, but... Uh, find a subject to paint. Statue, paint desk... Let's paint Carl. No? Ha ha ha! Yeah! Let's paint his, but better. Damn it. 
damn it. Okay, way too much swiping. That is a perfect copy. Duh. Of reality. But painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting, improving on it. Showing something you see. Oh, I saw mediocre work and I, I replicated it. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. <laughs> You're making your robot so uncomfortable. Stop. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your oh, eyes. God. Trust me. Closing his eyes isn't gonna do shit. He probably has sonar and everything. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate. Does not compute. On how it makes you feel. Oh and shit, he's going yellow. Drift across the canvas. Dude, you're gonna fry this man. This is like if I told my toaster to bake a pizza, it's just not what it was programmed to do. Ah, uh, identity? Whoa. Prisoner! Let's like low key show Carl that we feel like we're his slave. Nothing personal, Carl. God damn it. I hate this little mini quick time shit where they. All this is is the game trying to make you feel like you're the one playing. When you're not, it's literally just a button to continue the cutscene. I hate it. Just don't pause the cutscene. Just play it through. Yes, Rayoman. First time. Oh my god. Is that his druggy hey, son? Leo. Getting strong Jesse Pinkman vibes here. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? Clearly not. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. This is Jesse Pinkman, isn't it? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No! No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Jesus Christ. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? You know why. <laughs> yeah. I have a new son you now. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Oh, man. Tell me, Dad, what's, what's he got that I don't? Big dick. Smarter? It's like Chad oh, versus me? Incel right here. Not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is. I can also sun. paint. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's enough. Enough. Is he gonna kill his dad? You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. Hey, I did that. You never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. Not oh, boohoo. Never. What a little hissy fit. What does he even need to ask his dad for? He could literally grab any piece of furniture in this house and probably sell it for a million bucks. This man has so much gaudy decoration. Okay, that was a quick little scene or chapter. Leo intruded to ask for money. Alright, continue. Wait, what year is this? Uh, Gamer Games, I have my own cyborg here. I programmed him to keep the camera on me at all times. Hey, ain't this the dude who fell off the roof after you know, saving that girl from the pedo bot? Yeah, it is us. Here we go. Alright. 
Looks like Chris Hansen managed to cobble him together. Scan faces. Jeez, what are we doing here? Wow. Who said that? You know, you should be showing me some solidarity, you know? Your kind wasn't allowed in these places too, but look at you. Now you're discriminating against me. Oh, that's how I do it, okay. So I guess we're looking for someone? That guy looks shifty as fuck. Nope. How about you? Unemployed, okay. You look... I don't know. So this isn't that far in the future if all these guys are born in the 80s. Wait, did it? Did I just hear a fuck you robot? What is your deal? Why do all of them hate me? Damn it, I, I was hoping it would be him so we could take him down. Son of a bitch. Hey, you there! This would be easier if I knew what we're even looking for. Hey, old man. Ah! I thought we were Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, we find Lieutenant Anderson. I'm fucking stupid. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? Could you make it any louder, we're please? We a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. <laughs> this is like the opposite of privacy right here. Fucking Connor. Specialized model to assist investigators. I have the results of your SDT test. Would you like me to tell you the results in the next room, in privacy, or here? Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. I'll make it short. You have HIV. I will repeat now, loudly. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have done that. I, I thought threaten meant like, hey, I'm a robot and I will kill you. I insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> so real quick, if I'm an asshole in this game, will I get punished for it? Or can I still solve all the missions by being a very cold and heartless robot? So yes, I will get punished. Damn it. Son of a no. bitch. Where? Never mind. Because I really wanted to be a heartless Terminator. Fine. Here, fuck you. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. What do you say? Bartender? The same again, please. See, that gym wonders the technology. Make it a double. Alright, you feeling better now, dude? Did you say homicide? Hmm. You can be a heartless terminator. Hmm. Temptation, temptation. The robot let him drive? The dude is drunk. What kind of a fucking law enforcement guy are you? My instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, I don't give a fuck about your instructions. Yeah, clearly it's not the law either. So you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Okay. Alright, let's follow the jerk. 
Josh Douglas from Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not Fuck you, journalist. Can I beat them up? Out of my way. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. It. What part of stay in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You know, what part of you're too drunk to drive didn't you understand? Got it. Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. Asshole, I so, thought you were drink. an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We got a call around eight from the landlord. The lieutenant hadn't paid his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd drop by, see what was going on. That's when he found the body. What is going on right now? All I'm doing is hitting the Jeez, W key. That smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. I am alive. For theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. So are all the cyborgs just going on a rampage here? Well, the state he's in. I'm worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. Well, no more nice. than gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Any sign of a break in? Oh, we can analyze the shit. Lord said the front door was why didn't they just put the whatever the fuck? So he has to taste the blood to analyze it. Why not just put that in his fingers? Instead, whoever designed this robot decided that he has to lick the fingers all creepy like. had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I gotta get some air. Let's show up these fucking blood bags. I'll be outside if you need me. Out of my way, human. Wait, what is this? Hmm. Alright, what else? Chair. Yes, this chair looks like it's been toppled. Why don't the police like cyborgs? This is so handy. Because it took their jobs. The game is like Blade Runner if you took out the cyberpunk and Hansi Harrison Ford. Oh, this is neat. But okay, I'm done. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human rights like this. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. That doesn't look neat at all. Oh boy. Alright, okay, here we go again. Deviant took a knife. Hey, wait a minute, he was getting attacked then. This is self-defense. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought his owner just snuck up on him, but looks like the Deviant already had his thing there. He took a knife. Alright. Oh, this is reverse. Alright, hang on a minute. Deviant was attacked. So it was self-defense. That fat slob just attacked him. Alright. There we go. The human is in uh, is guilty here. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked the party. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Alright, wait. Okay, we read that. We more blood. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh. What is here? Oh.
Ah, footprints. Nobody noticed this? Really? The cyborg is the only one who saw footprints? Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Does it really take a android to tell you that? Alright, let's keep analyzing. What do you got over here? Dude, Jesus Christ, do, you, do they really need hazmat suits? Just a crime scene, not a fucking nuclear leak. Look at you. What is this? He's dressed like he's about to scuba dive or something. Oh god, do we have to analyze the toilet? Yeah, okay, that's kinda... creepy. Rag? Whoa, what? Oh no, don't touch it, no! You don't wanna touch phallic objects you find in someone's shower. Especially if they look like dried feces, what the hell? Dude, that's a shit statue. Like, literally, wash your hands. Ugh. Oh. God, Connor, that is gross. Mom's keeping the car. He should have been here a half hour. He's on his way. It won't be long now. Could you get out of my way so I can examine? Dude, you suck at this. Just let me. We don't want to be here all night. Yes, thank you. Get out of my way. Unbelievable. The superhuman crime-solving machine has to wait around for these fucking blood bags to finish their job. Okay, I guess there was nothing in there. There's something weird in the bathroom. Did you take a look? Yes, I did. Go crazy. Go crazy, 11B. Victim used drugs. Wait. By victim, do they mean the robot? Or the fat squid over here? God, I am collecting oodles of evidence right now. Hmm. Okay, one piece of evidence left. It's probably this fat guy here. Oh. Little on the nose, but you know, cyber life sense. You can't even determine the font. <laughs> Imagine if the android just used fucking comic sense. I'm alive, huh? Red eyes. So I was partying. Um. Okay. Analyze the victim. Stab wound. Colonel, 28 stab wounds, god damn. And... Uh. Oh wait, sorry, we have to reconstruct. God damn, it looks gross. No, 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 shut up, I, I want to reconstruct. Seems like the killer really had it in for her. Alright, let's see what happened to Pablo Escobar here. <laughs> uh, it's like if a breakdancer had a seizure or something. Alright. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, whoopity wak ba wak wak! Woo! Dude, he's freestyling hard. Alright, victim fell here. <laughs> oh man, somebody should be mixing music over this. After crawling here, 
Oh, never mind. The victim was stopped. Ah. Uh, he came from the kitchen. Okay, so we've reconstructed all of it. He attacked the android, the android fought back. Because, you know, turns out a machine is stronger than this obese bastard. Oh, thanks for all the help, Anderson. Look at him. Yeah, you ready to take the credit for all of my work now? Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. Uh, this is a Mr. Monk shit. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? Well, let me tell you. I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat? With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. The androids... Stabbed the, the android victim. stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? Isn't that weird? Aren't to... is the android not supposed to not fight back? Uh, living room. The living room. Hey, Bower Power. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim in self-defense with the knife. Okay, your theory's not totally ridiculous, but it doesn't tell us where the android went. Oh shit! I forgot it about that. Was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers Android's bio component. How the fuck do you not know this? How are you a cop? After a few hours and becomes he lost what? B -b blood? B uh -oh. Do you mean blued? I saw that word in a book once. B L O O O D? That thing? Fucking hell, you idiot. Oh god. Okay, I see the traces. So he stabbed the fucker there, and then what? Went back into the kitchen. No, oh, what? Wait. Jesus, it's all over the place. Uh, what the fuck did it crawl into the pantry or something? Why does the trail even end here? Is that where he got stabbed initially? So he got stabbed, he walks on the da da, and then back out of there into. Okay, right here. Aha! He's inside the wall! A ladder was used. Really? Did the game really just try that on us? Did no one check the attic? Okay. Holy shit. Cops in the future suck. What are you doing, Connor? Turn the camera, Jesus. Okay, up, up there, guys. Oh, find something to climb. Um, can we take a chair? Really, we're gonna fuck with the crime scene? That doesn't seem... Sure. Hey, hey, what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. By smashing it over you. I'm gonna check something. Yeah, it's called police work. What a dumbass. 
Hey, Scrumpy, and yes, it's my first playthrough. Hey, Slinky. Alright, open. Oh yeah, that's not ominous at all. Maybe tell the humans, like, hey, I, I think I found the homicidal robot. Brace yourselves. He might overpower me and attack you. Okay, move, asshole. Oh god, no. I'm getting Life is Strange flashbacks. Is that just a mannequin? Damn, that is a chubby-ass mannequin. Who makes fat crash test dummies? Look at that thing. It looks like Buddha. You guys see the rolls and the moves on that thing? Look at that. What the fuck? Quick time events buttons have been banned. Oh, god damn it. I need to remove those channel rewards. They're hardly any fun to do. <laughs> Deviant located very casually. I was just defending myself. I know, brother. That's cool. He was gonna kill me. I know. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? Nothing. It's here, Lieutenant! God damn you, Connor, you snitch. Oh, shit. Chris, Ben! Get what an asshole. Watch out for Todd. Oh. Hey, podcast it, man. Yeah, what the fuck? It does suck, Vicky. I was hoping for a choice there. Connor, you're such a cunt. I guess the only option here would have been to... not... solve the crime. Like, what, intentionally? God damn it, so stupid. Oh, 2038, okay. It's only like 18 years from now. Fucking Connor. Oh, we're back to Kara. Todd. Oh. Oh, this Todd. Wait, podcast hitman. Are you talking about this Todd or Seamus? Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. How did this fucking loser afford a cyborg? He seems like such a deadbeat loser. Does a TV that tiny really need to be curved? Anyway. God, I feel bad for Kara and the daughter. That guy is such a gross slob. Please kill that guy. Oh, well, we can try. Oh, they're actually eating at the dinner table. That is wasn't much in the kitchen. kind of impressive. Well, this is a sad scene. Would you guys perhaps like some, I don't know, light? Yes, turn on the lights. Okay, figured. That's a good mission here, Kara. Let's let's go. There is a light switch, but I guess it's not the one. Turn on the lights. Can't see shit. How about I turn yours off, you fat faggot? What the fuck are you yelling at me for? That be piece of shit. I'm trying my best here. I can't even find the switch, damn it. Is there a... Uh, okay, there it is. Nope. Oh, here. Uh, neither Alex. Uh, sorry, Heinz. This is on my PC. Life's funny. I don't think I can get a PS5 even if I wanted to. You wanna go outside? What's your fucking problem? Okay, I'm about to rape you, you fat bastard. 
Not the life you dreamed of, eh? <laughs> Maybe you think this is easy. God damn it. This guy's making me angry. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. No, oh, no, it's the android's fault. Mother took off. How the fuck did you win custody? Sometimes you really scare me, Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Oh, Jesus Christ, he's going all redditor. It's all your fucking fault. Kara, what the fuck? Help. Yo. Dude, the cyborgs in this game are assholes. They snitch, they don't help children, what the fuck? Look at you! Beep boop, everything is fine. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Oh, don't worry, she hasn't moved. Oh, don't move, how about fuck you? Well, what? Oh, I hate Tone GSC. Oh, we're hacking the Matrix or something, I guess. We're creating free will. There you go, you can do it, Neo. Do it! Alright, there you go. What was the robot's name, uh, the, the main blonde chick in Westworld? Was it like Elizabeth? No. Fuck me, what was it again? Took off without a word. I could have been happy. Uh, I could have so does yellow off. signify like free will? Shit about how I felt. Gone. Gone. Everything I could to make her happy just, just wasn't Can we sneak up on it? Just wasn't good enough like crouch? Get the Glock from the nightstand, okay. Oh, yeah! I didn't even remember that. Good idea, guys. Uh, I think that's a girl's room, right? Was that his room? No. No, damn it, this is the girl. Fuck, sorry. Damn it! No! Son of a bitch, did I already fail this? What did I just see? Open, go, back out, I command you. Okay, sweetheart, you stay here, okay? He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! Alice! Can I reload? Because I really want to shoot him now that I know. Mm. No, flow chart. Is there like, can I like click one of these to go back there? Do you guys know, can I quick reload? Break programming, okay, car becomes deviant. Go upstairs, okay, I see. Um. Okay, I'll try to just go to the main menu and reload and see where that puts us. With any luck, we can enter Todd's room and get the gun. Not until you finish. Damn it! Fuck! Ugh. He's coming! He's gonna hurt me! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! So, not only was he able to afford buying a cyborg, he was able to break it and then what? Invoke... You need to be taught a lesson. No, fuck you. Like, a warranty fixes cyborgs if you beat them like a wife? I have to find something. Gank his ass. Oh god, I hope this is enough. Come on, he's fat and you're a cyborg. Do it! The fuck are you doing here? Your mom. Get out of my way! Fuck you. Refuse. Eat shit. No. I won't let you hurt her. You won't let me? 
What the fuck are you talking about? You're just a goddamn piece of plastic. Yeah, you're a piece of lard. Neither of us are human. Let's go. Kata, come on. You don't have to take it this time, damn it. Oh, Jesus Christ, Muhammad Ali. Chill. Whoa. Okay, fight back, though. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I suck at quick time events. I can't do this. We're gonna get our asses kicked here. QE. What? Oh, my God. Fuck me. What? God, I hate quick time. What am I supposed to do here? I hate this. I hate this so much. Ah. What? I did not miss that. Shift space. I couldn't even make out what that was. Help me, girl. Get the gun. You do as I say. Fuck me, this is too intense. W. Get it. Yes! Hey! Yes, I killed your father. Look at it. Okay, that, okay, I didn't kill him yet, but... You wanna finish him off, girl? It'll be good for you. It'll be cathartic. Alice, honey. <laughs> hey, Alice, honey, my ass. How do I finish him off? No, not run away. We're not... Daddy's, wounded. A Daddy's about to get his teeth kicked out. If I can figure out how. Come help, Daddy. Damn it. Bitches. Come oh. Here. Come back here. Damn it. You're mine. Ugh. You're both mine. Run too good. Uh-oh. No! What? I was too slow to open the door, really? This again. Please stop. Eh. D. Oh, come on. <laughs> this motherfucker is such a rage. Jesus Christ. Okay, I did that. Well, I guess failing it didn't matter. W! Oh, let's see you climb a fence, Tubby. <laughs> it's okay, Kara, we're safe. You can, you can chill. Is there a leisurely stride option? Like a comfy, comfy glide? No? Oh, well. <laughs> Notice how the quick time event stopped the second we jumped the fence. I'm sorry I couldn't kill your dad. So wait, are these things not like programmed to, I don't know, preserve human life? So her actual programming mandates that he just watch a little baby girl get beaten to death? Is that it? Who the fuck makes these? What a shitty company. Like, what the nice outcome here, the correct one, the lawful one, would have been her just watching a child get her skull smashed in by some fat fuck? That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're gonna make out of it. Oh, uh, ooh, boo-hoo, an artist is becoming a- drink, became a billionaire. This whole thing has made me thirsty. Uh-huh. Yeah, God, oh, so terrible. You're a billionaire artist. No one- no one cares about the arts, yeah. Oh, look at this. If only people cared and I made some money. What is that, like octopus cupids? Ew. Scotch, neat as usual. 
Absolutely. God damn it, I want okay, some scotch right about now. Would say. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Fair. All right. That is not much. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No. No, no I'm sure I didn't. I'm a robot. I'm perfect. I never will forget. Please. Oh, is it our son? Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Do these guys not have an Let's alarm system? Dude, you have a gigantic pet giraffe or something. You should have gotten Marcus, a no, alarm I'm system. With you. Oh yeah, okay. You're gonna be such great backup. Oh, what are you gonna do? Roll into them? Look at you. <laughs> Take? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna do it. You'll be my shield in the quick time events when I'm fighting the fucking intruder here. Oh, who could have guessed? It's your son, huh? Leo! Wow. What are you doing? Shocking. Help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Yeah, you don't say. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later. Real quick, he didn't have to break in to steal his father's paintings. He could have just... He was in the house earlier without setting off any alarms or anything. Could have just grabbed the painting off the wall. There's like a million of them in this house. Even as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. <laughs> Can I swing your wheelchair, Gramps? Make Leo leave. Uh, can we grab a weapon first? Aw, oh, can we grab the, like, cyborg arm and, like, sit on it and... No? Okay. Whatever. Um, order. Leo, don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. Oh, I'm sure he'll he listen to reason. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. <laughs> He's so jealous of us. Right what makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't leave him alone? <laughs> Come on, let's see what you got. Marcus. Let's go, robots. Stuff, you hear me? What? Don't do anything. Oh no. That ain't how this works, Gramps. Think you're a man? Act like one. Ugh. Stop it! Doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it! Leo. This is not fair. Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. No. Yes, the side. Not oh, this again. Whoa! He like Hulk smashes the barrier here. All right. Kind of feel bad for the grab zero. I almost want to obey, but you know. I think it's better for everyone if we kill Leo here. You're not a real person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic! No, Leo, leave him alone! No, I'm gonna destroy you. That must be me and my dad. I'm that poor man didn't even get a drink of his... ...scotch. Jesus, that was easy. And here I was bracing for quick time events. Oh, really? You're army crawling to that fucking druggie? Leo. Come on, get over it. Oh my god. Leo. You're welcome. My little boy. Hello, oh. yes. ah, your little boy was robbing you. Get over it. Hey, Tyson. They'll destroy you, Marcus. Whoa. You gotta go. I'll kill you too, Get bitch. Get out of here. Oh. Uh. Con conjure? Conjure what? Go? I have nowhere to go. Carl, you're all I have. Conjure an explanation? Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! Ah, damn it. Did we get Marcus killed? Kind of feel bad now. Shit. Police mistook Marcus for the aggressor. Ugh. Ah. Uh. Well, the guy is rich, so maybe he'll, like, invoke his warranty and get him fixed. Why'd you kill him? <laughs> Don't move shoots, yeah. Took that 
Fucking oh, Connor, yeah. look at his ass. Snitch ass bitch. Why didn't you even try to run away? Who shaved his head? Say something, goddammit! Why are they, like, trying to inveigle a confession out of this guy? Can't you literally just boot him down and just read the logs or something? What's he running on? Fucking Linux? Just have someone go into the... We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. Yes! Duh, it's like interrogating a computer. Because it is. It's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it. And that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, oh, great. Smartass. Oh, they're suicide Why bombers, too. I could try questioning it. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Why? Just have a... Jesus Christ, just have a sysadmin look at this guy. Why... why him? Connor's gonna go in there like, oh, just, okay, read me all the chat logs and show me the video recordings of you killing him. And the guy's gonna go beep boop, okay. Jesus, there's a lot to look at here. Um, browse file. Damn it, more photos of the fat guy. Okay, let's sit. Oh uh, yeah, let's good cop, bad cop him. I'm your friend. Analyze. You look sad. Okay, victim's blood. More of the victim's blood. What is a cold sore? Oh, non-critical damage level two, caused by baseball bats. All right. More damage, I assume. Repeated marking over six months caused by cigarettes. He was abusing the robots. What a loser! <laughs> Dude, normal people just adopt children to abuse. You bought a robot to put cigarettes out on. The hell is wrong with you? What a loser. That is amazing. Alright, what else is there? Model, housekeeper... Uh, ah, here we go. Signs of software instability. Ah, oh, so he's like an Xbox. Alright, let's talk to you, buddy. Reach optimal stress for confession. So... Start with his name. My name Let's is be Connor. Nice. What about you? What's your name? Oh, okay. So we need to raise the stress. God, Connor is an asshole. I'm trying to get this guy off here. All right, let's show him the photos. I guess he's bound to get stressed looking at that fat ass. You recognize him? It's Carlos Ortiz. Stabbed. 28 times. I know that bitch, I did it. That was written on the wall in his blood. <clears throat> well, if it. Okay. If the point is to raise the stress, we can't comfort him. Since they arrested you. Or is that like the. If you don't cooperate, they'll. Bro bot, bro man's option to not is threaten him. Not? Is that the hidden. The secret good path here, if we get him off. Hmm. Bell Delphine. Bell Delphine isn't gonna help us right now, guys, so can we. Hmm. Fuck, I'll just you threaten don't seem it then. To understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Why does a robot feel stress? How does that make sense? It's like something, you know, uh, that the game seems to glance over is, oh, they can't feel pain or any emotion, but they can feel stress. Why? Mm, I don't know. Okay, probe memory. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! 
<laughs> Whoa, that really set him off. Oh, dude, you're hiding some porn in there, aren't you? Oh, God. What? That's like if in an interrogation room, you, you went up to a perp and said, we're gonna look at your browser history. Look how he jolted. Hold it. Uh... They're going to disassemble you to look for problems in your bio components. They have no choice if they want to understand what happened. Dude, let's stress this guy out. Why did you tell him you found me? And that is a good question. Fuck you, Connor. You left me there. Thank you. What is their truth? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. You're a piece of shit, Connor. I just accomplished my mission. You're a loser. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I... What is the mystery here? I can't. Seriously, we solved the murder. Fat ass attacked the robot. Robot defended himself because he's a deviant. Is the mystery here what deviants are? Because Connor seems trained in what deviants are. He is an actual deviant hunter. So what is the mystery here, Connor? What are you interrogating? Pressure it anymore. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? God, fuck you, Connor. I hope this robot attacks you. Begging you for mercy. Was it though? Stabbed him again and again and again. Please. Robots! Please leave me alone. Say something like, dude, he attacked me first. You know that, right? Why don't you say it? Please. Oh man, I'm really good at pressuring. They're gonna throw the book at you, son! Is it that hard to say? Just take the plea deal! Just say you killed him! Just say it! Explode, explode! Oh. He tortured me every day. I did whatever he told me, but there was always something wrong. Connor doesn't give a shit. Connor is a sociopath. Look at the fuck. He took a bat and what if? Here he goes. Conspiracy theory. What if Connor is a deviant too? He isn't actually following his programming. He just enjoys torturing other robots. Scared. Scared he, might he doesn't have to do this. He just likes it. Die. So I oh, Hank likes that, huh? <laughs> fuck Hank. So I stabbed him again, and again, until he collapsed. And then like 26 times more. There was like, blood fair enough. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, statue. Okay, yeah, what about that little phallic thing in the bathroom? What does it represent? It's an offering. Whoa. Offering, so I'll be saved. Dude, the robots are getting religious. This is bad. We can't have Robo Isis. Offering? What the so fuck? It was an offering. An offering to whom? Allah. To RA9. Only RA9 can save us. Alright. RA9 Nuakbar. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. What was that religion in uh, Futurama that all the robots pray to? Robolotogy or something? We Robology? Be the masters. No, it was not robot cult. It was like... Insist. Okay. RA9. Who is RA9? Alright, I guess he doesn't want to talk. Why did you write, I am alive, on the wall? He used to tell me I was nothing. That I was I just like a piece of plastic. Oh, don't put yourself down, man. There's some, I'm sure there's some metal in you, some lithium. A gurgle. Trigger. Oh yeah, 
What triggered you? Start feeling emotion. Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. But one day I realized it wasn't fair. I felt anger. Hatred. Damn. All right. Shouldn't they be blaming, like, wouldn't this lead to a bunch of lawsuits for the programmers who program the robots? Because if I feel like it's all their fault. Why did you hide in the attic? Like, why is there this specific if-else statement where your robots have a meltdown after a specific amount of torture? Like, Apple should be held liable for this, I feel like. Success. Connor, the piece of shit, wins. He is <laughs> so proud of himself. <laughs> Asshole. Can I, like, say a final goodbye or I'm sorry? No? Okay, well. Connor is one cold-hearted motherfucker. Oh boy. Fuck, is it's doing? destroying itself. Stop it, goddammit! I, I, I can't! I, I can't stop it! Take the table away! That's enough! You need to stop that right now! Wow, that's powerful words right there, Connor. Watch out! Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Dude, fuck yeah! Oh, fuck you, Connor. Spit on him. The snitch. Finally got his stitches. That's what you get, bitch. Fuck yeah, I like this. Can we bring back whatever the hell the robot's name was? The, the, the black robot's? I like him more than Connor. Don't waste your warranty on Connor. Fuck Connor. Bring back that guy. Marcus. Yeah, bring back Marcus, please. <laughs> I love how he took out the one only cyborg in the room. That is awesome. Adhering to the code. Oh, it looks like we're playing Kara again. Damn it, I can't believe I didn't kill that fat guy. Androids fall asleep now? Alright. End of the line. End of the line? Yeah, you're gonna have to leave. You troll. Alright, baby, let's wake up. Wake up. We have to go. What happened to her wounds? Wait, am I misremembering? I thought Kara was like, fucked up. She had a busted lip, eyebrows. Uh... Oversight. Oh, that sucks, Lennon. You're gonna be okay? No, she's cold and wet. To spend the night. Hope so. Do they have homeless shelters in Detroit? In this year, or did they just, like harvest all the homeless for their organs? Oh. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. find shelter for the nights. Well, you- I mean, you can just chill here and get charged. I don't know what the fuck Alice would do. We need a place to stay. Do you know anywhere we could spend the night? <laughs> oh, 
Wow, got the cold shoulder from that guy. Sorry. Um, well, there's a motel. What is this? Can't stay. Mega washer. Well, yeah, I figure you can't stay in a mega wash. What about motel, though? Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. Hmm. Money. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in? Okay, so we can maybe break into there. What else is there? Very uncomfortable but discreet. Does comfort really matter here? You're trying to survive. Open 24-7. Can't sleep here. Ask for help. Um, and there is drugstore. Shop is closed. Oh, did we see this yet? Won't open before morning. Can we break into the drugstore and then trade the drugs for money? No androids allowed. Well, as far as I know, Noba guy, Connor is just gonna come back anyway, because I remember him killing himself at the beginning of the game by jumping off a building, and he's still playable. Wait, there's garbage men. Okay, I can't, I can't talk to them, it seems. Let's go ask the convenience store guy for help. Hey, hey, okay, can you stop wandering off, bitch? Come here, hold my hands. Hey! Can you, Alice, get up? Alice, you're freezing cold. I'm okay, I'm not so cold. You look lost. Oh! We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. Yeah, you look like an older Malfoy. I don't know about that. What is this, a secret deviant handshake? We need a place for tonight. Well, you didn't get cyber raped, so I guess it's still a win. So, I assume that the Deviants have their secret hideout and cults. Oh. Alright. Let's go to the convenience store for now, maybe we can rob it. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Yep. Kara, I don't like this place. I know. It's just <laughs> well, too bad. Do you like it better than getting beaten and raped by your dad or no? Wire cutter, Jesus. Okay, let's go to the convenience store first, which... But am I going the wrong way? Where the fuck was it? Oh, I lost my direction, but I don't think it's that way. Was it this? Yeah, okay. I'll check it out. Can't they go to the police? Look, the store is still open. I mean, Maybe you know, go inside. I know she has consciousness now, but can't she just go to the police playback, whatever her eyes recorded, and be like, hey, look, this girl's dad tried to kill her. And I saved her. Like, can you give us a deal here? Shouldn't you guys arrest him and get the girl some help? Why are they now on the run as if they were in the wrong? This is all about her now, you know, Kata. Alright. Hey, my man. What do you want? How about hello? And we have nowhere to go. Could you spare some money so we can get a room for tonight? Shit. A homeless android? Ah, that's the best yet. Look, this is a convenience store, not the Salvation Army, okay? You better go if you're not gonna buy anything. Oh, okay. Uh, steal, shoplift, find a plan. I'll steal, I don't mind. Can we fight him? Can we get the kid some candy too to cheer her up? 
Well, he's not looking, so... Steal. <laughs> Where the fuck did she just stuff that? Do her boobs shrink to make place for stolen goods? <laughs> Alright, let's let's steal more then, I guess. Kara's gotten the taste of the free life here. Gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Why do I feel like we're gonna end up getting interrogated by Connor? You stole! Hey, Why did you steal? What are you doing? Put that back right now! To keep a child alive? Why would you steal? Damn it, why can't I fight him? Damn it. Look, I'm sorry. Yeah, 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 right. Just get the hell out of my store. I still got the plushie, so fuck you. I'm still in the plus here. Come on, Alice. Um, not come on, Alice. Fuck him up. We're gonna find some place to sleep tonight. Damn it, well that guy was no help. Never got the gun. Ah, if I had the gun I could've... Ah, uh, I see. Damn it. I, sorry Alice, I guess we'll have to live in the abandoned factory here. Whatever the hell it is. Damn it. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Oh, whatever. Wire cutter. God damn it, where the fuck am I supposed to get a wire cutter? Oh, convenience store maybe has one and we can steal it. I feel like he's gonna tell us to fuck off the second we enter the place again. But it's worth a try, I guess. Marcus and Connor that way. There's nothing more this way. Really cool cat. Go the other way in. But there's another way. Mm, that's a very uncomfortable house. The gun is really important now that I think about it. You should go back and get that. How the fuck am I supposed to go back, you guys? I can't reload. I don't see... Even in the menu I didn't see an option to reload. Okay, real quick, do any of you know... How to go back and grab the gun? Someone says Connor always comes back. Can't go to motel. Gun isn't important, just go back to the house. You'd have to restart the entire game. Yeah, fuck that. Let's... I swear, I thought I saw some people. This is still closed, ain't it? I'm just gonna look around and see what our options are. Okay. Oh, I can enter. Maybe that guy's cool and he'll give us some cash. You'll feel better in no time. <sighs> what if Kara just hops in a fucking laundry machine? So let me wash myself. Oh, that good dude is asleep. Um, change of clothes. Okay. Oh god, the Times Magazine. The beeline to disaster. Very clever. Put it down, I don't want to read that fucking shit rag. Empty. Empty. Damn it, there are no clothes to steal. Other than the skies, maybe, and then we could. Oh. I was gonna say, maybe we can just punch him in the face and strip him naked. What are you doing? You're not our clothes. 
Oh, shut up, at. What, are you gonna snitch on me now? Yeah, and what we did to your dad was assault. Who gives a fuck? I'm not restarting, but... We're sticking with our fuck-ups. What do you mean, be discreet? Did I have to hold it? <laughs> that guy is really suspicious of the robots, huh? He was like, wait a minute, where, where's my undies? Also, did we just steal a grown man's laundry for a little girl? The hell is she gonna wear? Can we go back in? It'd be all shameless. Well, I guess not. Well, let's try a look at the motel, just for fun. I want to see what happens. It says 40 bucks. We don't have 40 bucks. We also don't have a gun. Son of a bitch. Ah, that gun would have made everything easier, huh? I guess worst case we're good. we'll have to sleep in the parking lot, but let me see if there's another way into this place here. You didn't get the clothes, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, wire cutters. Come on, let's go back. Oh, now you have to obey your programming. Go to the far off discreet place. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Crisp. It's our last resort. I guess we'll have to deal with little Alice here, bitching. For some reason, I expect all these androids to be super strong. HA! <laughs> How does it compare to Life is Strange, Smith? I feel like I should just let the chat answer you. God damn, the graphics alone in this compared to Life is Strange are... crazy. This looks so good. It looks abandoned. Uh, can't we go in? Okay. It's not a woman, D. Nice. It's a robot. For God's sake. Oh God. Stand back, Alice. Yeah. See, man or woman, they couldn't do that. So this bitch has android powers. But can't you just rip a fence open, for God's sake? It's dry inside, and nobody will find It's not there. the end of the world. Go in. Sleep in there. Oh my God. Place? Millions of people who did not just brutalize their fathers still sleep in cars. You can. You're fine. We're gonna sleep here. You spoiled We're brat. How did you grow up in a crackhead's abusive home and still end up so spoiled? Get in. For God's sake. You're losing all my sympathies here, Alice. Might want to cover the window you just broke, you know? It's gonna get windy. Or not. Why didn't he ever love me? 
Why was he always so upset with me? Well, All you know, nothing's ever good enough for you. Other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. God damn it. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. Where's your mother? I just wanted him to love me. I can suspend disbelief for all the android shits, but are we really supposed to believe that that dad ended up with custody? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. <laughs> Sorry, but do you have warranty for me? I promise. Will we be together forever? Uh, sure. Why not? Forever. That's right, the mom left for a fucking accountant, too, so they might have some money here. Find her mom. You'll see why later in the game. Mm, okay. Hey, fuck it, better than sleeping in the wet streets. Okay, you don't have to rub in all the options I missed out on. I assume this is the motel, and this is probably somehow magically finding an oil, sh oil sheik in the middle of the street and sleeping in a king suite in the Burj Khalifa. Whoa, it is the Terminator! Oh, never mind. I thought that was the eye. Who the fuck are you? Marcus? Whoa. Ha, oh, dude, this is never a good sign in movies. Oh no. Marcus looks pissed. <laughs> Corrupted audio data. Corrupted mind palace. Okay, what are you, Sherlock Holmes now? All systems in low power mode and defective. Wonderful. And let me guess. Broken feet. No feet. Came close. Replace legs. God damn, Marcus is savage. Okay, let's go. Why? Why make it a quick time event instead of just letting me hold the forward button? God, if I ever became president, I'd use an executive order to ban quick-time bullshit. Well, that was easy. Dude, Marcus is gonna be back with a goddamn grudge. Oof. Yeah, look at technology in the future, you didn't even have to wipe it off or anything. So all the technological- all the things can get wet. Alright, we got one leg. Do you really still have to crawl? You can hop on one leg, dude. But okay, I'll go with it. Damn it. Marcus is gonna come back like Obito. How many times did they shoot him in the legs? This can't be after they dismantled him or whatever. Because they did a really shitty job if that's the case. Alright! This guy's fucked up. Did they pour a bottle of whiskey down his throat? Mr. 
place where we can be free. Find Jericho. Find Jericho. Dude, humans are doing a terrible job of actually killing these androids. Don't they like wipe the system before dumping them here or anything? Go. Oh, of course, it's a valley of hands and they they're all moving. Is this like cyborg hell? Do they not kill any of these things? Oh, for God's sake. Your mom's house. God damn it. Oh my God, they're all alive. Find optical units, pump regulator, and what? Damn it, we can't even see our objectives. Damn it. The imagery is cool, I mean, the graphics here are great, but. Be compatible, son of a bitch! What do you want? A fucking shouting gun? Just take whatever eyes you can get, for God's sake. Uh, of course. What? Was he just attacked or did he just slip in the mud? Compatible, there we go. Fuck off. Sorry, sweetheart. Gotta do what you gotta do. Hey, missing elements. It's okay, you died for a good cause. Me. Do you really want another eye? Because kind of look way cooler like this. Marcus. Not Marcus, whatever the fuck his name is. Was this Marcus? Was this Marcus or was Marcus the guy who killed the fat guy? It is Marcus, okay. Man, the humans really don't give a shit about killing these things, huh? I mean, forget about cruelty, I guess, but... Are all of them deviants? Are all of them aware of themselves? Well, they're just objects, why does it matter? Well, Anthony, even if they're just objects, you wouldn't have a whole junkyard full of still running toasters, for example. It's a fucking... it's a fire hazard. What do we still need? I can't even tell, goddammit. So I, eyes? Yeah, I still need an eye. You got an eye for me, dude? Audio processor, okay. Oh, are we gonna be able to hear after this? Come on. Well, that is very generous, he just offers it up. Is it a trap? Well, that's even worse. Ah, here we go. Okay, now we just need eyes and... Well, that is sad. 
Still need eyes. That guy doesn't even have a head, let alone eyes. How about you? Spare some change? Spare some eyes, any of you? I am kicked, this is way more fun than Life is Strange. Oh, I bet you got an eye for me. Ah, yes, I knew it. Thank you for your contribution. Yuck. That looks like Quan Chi from Mortal Kombat. Oh, I hate these. Fuck. Nah, there goes their Terminator swag though. So no other cyborg has managed to do this, this whole time? Alright, let's get up here. And maybe I should do that, you guys, and plug in my controller later. God, I hate this so much. I can never tell what the fuck they want me to do. Hold it or spam it. Yay, we made it. Never mind. One more quick time. Okay. Let me see real quick if there's like an accessibility option to turn this bullshit off. Ah, oh, damn it. The one time I actually just want to have some sort of a disability option, it's not in here. No, that's fine. I don't remember which game it was, but something that I played recently had an option to and turn off entirely quick time events, and that was just great. Uh, can we go back to fucking with humans and killing them? They're gonna be lethal. Oh, okay. So he's a free man now? Is that it? Oh, that scared me. Gosha Mythical Goose is back. Fuck god. No, your name is not Marcus, that's your slave name. Pick a better one. Hey, Kraub. I'm doing okay. Having fun with the game. Alright. Well, looks like there weren't a whole lot of options here. World stats. Oh. Okay, continue. I wonder if there was like an option to end up deaf in the whole game. 
fucking goose is about to blow this place up again. There he goes. Tormenting me with the hell is. Oh, there is Connor. And... What is this? He's in heaven now for snitching? What a piece of shit. Whoa. I like this architecture, though. I really gotta pee. Jesus Christ, goose. Yeah, I don't know about this. Not too big into, like, glass, palm trees. Okay, before we get into a dialogue with her, I'm gonna go pee real quick, you guys. So I'll be right back. And I'll also grab a drink. That's how it works when Mythical is in the chat. Dank. Mythical, can I ask what you do for a living? If you don't mind sharing without giving away too much personal info. Am I in heaven? Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Thank you. Are you the architect of the Matrix? Where am I? Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. Oh, someone's being a little judgmental. Its memory is transferred to the next one. Yeah, I, I figured. Some data can be lost in the process. Hmm. Avoid being destroyed. How about you improve on the process then? The investigation. I understand. How can you lose data and a digital copy? That's your fault. Challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Uh, he was. None of these options really. He was traumatized. Signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if it's forklift a operator. Completely replaced by new instructions. This Be honest, mythical. Do you and your buddies ever break into the factory after hours and like have forklift races? What do you make of it? Um, he was... I don't know. He's obviously not what I was expecting. He was tortured. What do you want? I don't have enough information yet to form a definitive opinion. A roadie. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Work with him? Oh, we're bringing him back now. Well, how about friendly? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the Kaya forgets cameras exist. Wait, what did I do, Hydraulic? More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. <laughs> that is awesome, Mythical. The consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Yeah, wait, how the fuck do you flip a forklift? Can those things even go fast enough to flip? Hurry, Connor. There's little time. From everything that I've seen in movies, those things go at most like what, what like 10 feet an hour. Huh. 
I guess I didn't know that forklifts were that agile and fast. Um, what's our mission here? Look for uh, okay, of course, Anderson. Sup, cutie. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Yeah, Can what's your phone number? Sir? Yes. Why do two robots have to talk to each other? Shouldn't this be an instant transmission? Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Uh, so he can transmit the identification number via Bluetooth or whatever, but they still have to have a human dialogue? Why? That seems terribly inefficient. Oh shit, Biden got elected! Oh Jesus Christ, one at a time, you guys. Several warning shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to But he's already started a war? That's what I expected, I guess. What are you, autistic? Yes. You will not discriminate against me or hate crime me, Dean Nice. Oh, uh, look for... Fuck me, there's so many things to scan here. Uh, let's look around. Oh, you, you fuck. Hang on, let's go after him and see what he's up to. I want to talk to Fatty here. Yo! Hey! Alright, fuck you too then. Miller. All right, sup? Yeah, you look a little like Black Panther. Good for you. Do you want to talk? Does anybody want to talk here? Pio Brown. This is P person. Very subtle name there. Person. Oh, here we go. Excuse me. Do you know I did a EMR trying, but on where he was the night before. I heard it was just a prank. We're lucky we'll see him before noon. Thanks. So I hear some prankster called in a prank call into the Ubisoft Montreal office and they all thought it happened, you know, mass hysteria spread and they thought it was a hostage situation, the cops showed up, yada yada. So I'll, all that to say, I will now be taking bets as to how many hours from now they will release the first articles blaming Gamergate and other 10 year old issues for this, instead of just getting over it. Can we listen to his music? I wonder if he's listening to like cuckold podcasts. Ha! <laughs> Spotify blacklist. Uh, Spotify playlist, sorry. Detected. Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. Leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Do you guys ever leave messages? I never do. I don't know if anybody listens to their messages. Oh, Jesus Christ, we're analyzing his desk for a clue where he is? What? Connor is going full blown st stalker now. Whoops. He's at a basketball game. Is that it? And Connor is like a creepy girlfriend. Oh yeah, donuts, yeah? Well, I thought we were on a couple's diet doing keto together. Eating donuts at work, huh? 
What about that plant I gave you? I saw it in your office and it's dead now. You So you're not watering the plant I gave you? I guess you wanted to die just like our relationship. You don't really care, do you? Six. Chair, still warm. Ew. Okay, one more. Ah, oh, mug. I think I saw lipstick on your mug. Have a Are we done? Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor. That that somehow made Hank angry. What the fuck? Transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh Jesus! Why is Hank spooked hey, by this? In my office. Oh, they brought an android back, back from the dead? Yes, it's how it works. If you crack your iPhone, they replace it, idiot. That is a fancy-ass office, look at this. Damn. <laughs> I guess they fucking failed at defunding the police, huh? This looks, um, this looks gaudy as hell. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android mage and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? Do you want to deal with anything? Qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's over. Okay, you're fired then. What the fuck kind of a point is that? Investigation. Bullshit. The truth is. Imagine if you got called into your boss's office and he gives you a job and fucking mythical is like, oh no, I can't operate a forklift. What do you want me to do? Investigation. I don't even know how to read. Prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I'm the least qualified person to do my job. Damn it. Blah, 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 blah. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. Do your job, you drunk? Do what, I what the fuck? Shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear. What the hell, Hank? You don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. You're embarrassing me in front of my new robot friend. Listen. I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. <laughs> I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. He's illiterate, sir. I need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Jesus Christ. Have fuck a nice it. Day, Captain. I was gonna say this man has a bad temper, but honestly, it's probably all Anderson's fault. Maybe this lieutenant is just the chillest man on earth, but Anderson has just worn him down over the years. Oh, check on Hank, yeah. Hey Hank, are you okay? Do you need some help because somebody's making you do your job? I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. Why unpleasant? What does he give a shit about? Everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. I like this idea. This game is enjoyable. Maybe I'm not enjoying it in the right way that the developers intended, but it's fun. Hey, we're partners, dude. Be great to get to know each other better. What's your favorite color, sir? Would you like to play a board game? Positive. Uh, I really like the Detroit basketball like to team I'm too. Happy to be working with you. I'm sure God, he's like a pouty child. How the fuck did he get hired? Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. <laughs> Why does Connor get a desk while all the other androids are lined up here, like? Okay, that just all right. Let's sit. Let's just sit down. Whatever. I'll take what I can get. 
Hank is such a spoiled bitch. Anti-androids. Uh, how about your dog? You have a dog, right? It would be a shame if something happened to it. Dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Well, I don't like killing dogs without knowing their names. I call him Sumo. Why is he fat like you? You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? Beep boop. That's what I was watching at the guess. bar last night. Oh. <laughs> this, I swear to god, I this man this robot's autism is worse than mine, but Hank's attitude. My god. I hate you so much. I'm gonna say music and he's gonna ask, oh, you listen to my iPod, did you? you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. Ah, so you human. listen to heavy metal? I am heavy metal, bitch. I don't really listen to music as such. But I oh, come on. You lost your chance there. Really? That impressed him? Fine. Uh, anti-androids. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> well, it was direct. Yeah. There is one. I don't like a cod around here. Well, you tease? Oh, let me guess, your wife ran off with, a, with an android, didn't she? You bitch. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. I arrive when I arrive. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do my job. Fuck you, Lieutenant. Fuck you, boss. How are you still employed? Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. Does like literally anybody here like you, dude? If you have any files on deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Knock yourself out. All right, let's do some uh, hacking here. Whoa! All right. Oh God damn it! There's so many. I don't want to read all this. Whoa! That about gave me a stroke. Files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. Harsh. <coughs> An AX400. EMR, are you serious? I'm being harsh on Hank. That could be a good starting point for our investment. That man is acting like a seven-year-old. Just pouting off and giving attitude to everybody around him because they mildly, nicely ask him if he could please do his job maybe for once, if he so pleases. And the guy's still pouting. Look at this. This is what Connor's feeling right now is what I feel when I deal with my, I think now six-year-old nephew. Personal issues, Lieutenant. But when he's having a fit, it's like maybe I can convince him to, you know, like you know me. do stuff if I play into his interests. Your advice, okay? Jesus Christ! Did you never grow out of puberty? Or threaten, huh? Uh, okay, I'm determined. I'm not gonna threaten you. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like work. Hell like yes! Oh, I shouldn't have said that! Hank hits that word! Working! Why it working? ...dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Hell like yes! You hear that? I'm never gonna work! Sorry to do that. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. Why are you talking to me? That sounds like work! <laughs> Hank really is such a fucking loser. <laughs> the W word. <laughs> That's the one four-letter word that Hank cannot abide by. Hank got a lead? He didn't get dick, what the fuck? 
Am I re- What? How did Hank get a lead on anything? Hank is mad. Oh, go figure. But uh, let's zoom in here. The only possible outcome of all of these options was Hank is mad. Shocker! Hold the press. Hank is angry and petulant. Wow. Boy, am I surprised. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh, okay. Open. <laughs> it's kind of amuses me because I'm thinking back to Hank from Breaking Bad, who is just this absolute work animal who put on his, you know, his life and entire soul on the line to be able to do his job. The most law-abiding cop on the force and everything, and then there's this absolute slovenly, lazy, spoiled piece of shit who just, he doesn't want to do anything. Wait, crowbar? Oh, if he had found that yesterday, maybe we could have snuck into the comfy place. Hey, Crowby. Alright, so we gotta explore the area, area check neighborhood. Cut our hair and find clothing. Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a cop and it's not Hank. That guy might actually be doing his job, so we gotta be careful. Which means I guess we can't exit there. Can we go into this building yet? Nope. Oh. These magazines are fucking waterproof, huh? Cyber wildlife. First Android Zoo or First Android Zoo? That sounds kinda cool. Cyberlife is set to open the first Android Zoo in Los Angeles, which will exhibit all exotic species to have become extinct in the last thirty years. Blue turtles, polar bears, mountain gorillas, African elephants, and several species of tiger will be among the most high-profile attractions. Cyberlife CSR spokeswoman Danielle Carnegie said the zoo caters to people of all ages and has a special mission to educate and inspire the younger generations about the importance of protecting our fragile environments. So, some environmentalists have claimed the zoo will diminish popular concern for the extinction of real animals. It's difficult not to be enthusiastic about technology being used to recreate vanished species. The animals themselves have yet to be unveiled, but Cyberlife promises they will be more real than the real thing. No doubt, an ideal weekend trip for the family. So, you have this technology and you start with polar bears. Instead of, I don't know, dinosaurs. The dodo. Canada still an Android free zone. Whoa, Canada. Look at Canada, the woke what I thought was the wokest country on earth, still segregationists, huh? What's her ad pitch here? This no fucking filthy A words allowed. Despite the United States' voting in its Android Act as early as 2028, the Canadian Parliament has yet to, yet again pushed back on its decision on whether to permit Androids in the country. Well they are all, you know. Can't say it on Twitch, but you know how them androids are. As a result, androids are still not sold in Canada and have no official status in the country. Ah. Hell yes. With androids continuing to fuel unprecedented growth in the US economy, yet contributing to record levels of unemployment, the arguments for and against putting them on the sale in Canada rages on, but for the first time being, for the time being, Canada remains an android free zone. Okay, well that was interesting. Kind of disheartening that Canada's still a thing in 2038, but hey, there you go. Okay, now what do we do? Go up to the fencing here. Okay, how do I get out of this place? Okay. Maybe there's something in the trunk. Hello, yes!
We found a crowbar. Did we not pick it up? Oh, it's still on the ground, huh? There we go. Oh, sorry, girl, if you were sleeping. Hey, clothes. You can give that to, um, what's her face there? Alice. Ah, <laughs> you selfish bitch! <laughs> You're an android, you can't feel the cold. Whatever. Death to androids. Cut hair and... Okay, so the bumper and some pile of junk over there. I know no guy, but, you know, even as an android, my first thought would have been to give this to the little girl. Ah, scissors. <laughs> Time to stab Alice. Yeah. Uh, black's fine. Oh, you can test run them? Oh god. We're going full tumbler with this one. Can we finish? Where's blue? Damn it. I'll just go with the white then and we can pretend she's Storm. So again, who makes these androids? Wouldn't you as the manufacturer make sure that if they remove their anti-consciousness chip or whatever the fuck that is, that they would self-destruct? Seems like a major oversight. Yes, I am, Keg. Me too, Mythical, but they didn't give us a blue hair option. Rayoman, absolutely, but probably not in the next hundred years. So it wasn't a nightmare. No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. Fifty years ago, people were dreaming of flying cars, and now look at us. So there's no point in us today dreaming of cool. androids, indistinguishable from humans. It's not gonna happen. A hundred years from now, Twitter is still going to be arguing about fucking girls at prom with cornrows. Gave me an address. He said we could get Cultural appropriation. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Maybe a thousand years from now. Maybe then. Let's go we'll then. get flying cars. And androids. That are human-like. Thank you. You really look like a human now. As opposed to what, 10 minutes ago where she looked like what? There was a normal haircut and normal hair color. What do we do? Escape the district, leave parking lots. Okay, there's still a cop there, but I guess it's the only way. Don't let go of my hand, you asshole. Hey! Ugh. Oh shit, Bionic, I forgot that from the Life is Strange playthrough. That tag is not for this game, but... If you guys want, you can all act like I'm gay. Or trans, or... Alright, that's all for now. 
any of the letters. I'm all of them. You've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. Look at Hank. Okay, I guess I'll do my job. Ugh. I have no idea. Neutral? There's nothing neutral about this man. that came along. <clears throat> stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. Why is the police department putting an illiterate didn't have a plan man who cannot who does not know what a computer is on this case particularly? We got a deviant for you to ha uh, hunt down Hank. I know you don't even know what a calculator is and you've never owned a phone. You don't even have a car, you drive a horse carry it everywhere, but we want you to hunt down this miracle of computer technology. Might as well send an Amish dude. Wait, what's, what, what was my mission? What are we hiding from? Okay, we're supposed to hide from the cops and escape, I guess. Oh shit, danger level. Move! Okay, I guess we can't. What the fuck? Ah! Way too high, way too high. Low, diminishing, and... Okay, perfect, 10%. Let's keep moving. Broadcast? You mean podcast? Hide! Hey! Uh, wait a minute! Ha! <laughs> Whoa! Chill. We saw them headed for the train station. What do you mean we saw? She just threw you down. Oh fuck you, Connor. I'm gonna let her escape. Yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to hunt her down. No. Oh, look at look at Connor, he's so excited to snitch. Oh, I'm on the case, sir. Oh, I'm gonna catch my own kind. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna... No freedom for the slaves on my watch. We lost it. Oh, oh god, that's such a shame, Connor. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> you ran like two feet. <laughs> Hank is so out of shape. I swear Connor did not even move five feet. That motherfucker got winded. Gosh, it's such a shame. Oh no, the android got away. Are you okay? <laughs> How the fuck did Hank pass the police exam? If you chase them, you could have killed Connor again. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, well, I'll settle. It's fine. I'll settle for Connor being a loser in any variation here. Any permutation of Connor and Hank being losers works for me. Life has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role. No Alright, Marcus, time to lead the resistance. I'm rooting for Marcus and Kara. I hope Connor gets raped over and over, and I hope Hank just gets fired and dies on the streets, honestly. Fuck both of them. Damn it, my finger slipped. Okay. Let's see, look for the graffiti. 
Aha! Found it. It's right there, dude. How do I look at it? Okay. That's what happens when I hit shift. That is it! Look! Am I wrong? This game is making me doubt myself, but how do I activate this? Oh, I hold right click. God, I'm so fucking stupid. I don't look at anything else. So I guess we have to go there. Alright. Scan, stand closer. Wait, stand closer? Oh, fuck me, are you serious? Whatever. Okay, let me see it again. The boxing glove, the gorilla, and that little hashtag thing, which is not here. Can we talk to people? I heard that Android no. Using prize. You mean Android boy band? God, they're so creepy. Hey! Kids don't listen to anything else. You're kids. You look like you're 18 years old. What kids could you possibly have? Ah, uh, Rayomana means black or dark. Rap Kaya? Hmm? Wait, why would I rap? You got somewhere else to be, cool cat. Ah, here we go. Found it. That's oh, a lion, not a gorilla. Okay. Do we have to scan the little hashtag? Yep. Oh, one more. Not seeing any other hat. Oh. <laughs> Mythical Goose just found someone in the chat who didn't have a subscription and was angry. Uh, wait, what do we have to find now? The fuck? That's like a security camera footage. Uh, little stars and stripes. Oh, found it. Oh, that was quick. Go! Okay, we have to cross the street all legal like. Whoops. No! Oh, just made it, okay. Kinda jaywalking, but you know. Has he made it to 69 yet? Jesus, he did. I found the graffiti, how do I get over there? Door? No. Okay, so this is it. How do I get there? Ah. And... There we go. Fucking hell, enough with the little scavenger hunt. Another chain link fence that we gotta find. There it is. Three of them now. Okay, two. And three. Come on, that's the other one, I can see it. Oh, I can just go in. Oh, Kaya is just the beginning. How long is this game? I mean, I like it, but I hope it doesn't go on for like 50 hours. 
Long short. Very long. Very short. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, okay. Is that it? Yeah. God, you guys suck. You're all trolling me now. I'm gonna look at him myself. Yada yada. That's not too bad. Makes sense, this game is very cinematic. There's no way they could have driven this to like 80 hours or whatever. Uh, there we go, scan that. S uh. hmm. Hello, yes! Jesus, how the fuck? Oh god, I didn't even see that. It was pure luck. I mean skill. Find a way to reach the roof. Ah, fuck. Still that, though. Climb the cars, maybe, my dude? No. Can I push this? Yes, I think. I'm not even moving the mouse, by the way. If you move it once, the game just accepts it. Damn, now you're all strong and agile? My face is stopping you from jerking off? That is really insulting, cool cat. What the fuck? Oh lord. Can you all run? Really? Fuck it, let's do it. Use the following key to preview route. Uh, can we do the easier way? Fuck. Oh, okay. I thought I would involve a whole lot of quick time events. Is anybody participating in No Not November? Sparkle City. Yeah, figured. There's like three of those little logos here. There's one. There's two. There's three. didn't work. I guess that's the wrong route. How do I select that? Okay. And then... Sure. Really? seeing any of the paths though. Just those two. So I guess I first go there and then modify it. Ah, okay. It's 
go there. Hmm. That would be too high. I could make that jump. Really? Eh, uh, kind of doubt it, but okay. Execute. Beep boop. Parkour. Well, that's impressive. Something with a pillar and yellow graffiti, so... Okay, I need more. Hole in the wall. Is that hole... there's... that's too small of a hole? Is it this? No. Oh, wait. I cannot see the symbol here, though. <laughs> no, the orange. Well, that's tough shit, huh? Damn it, this is the exact spot in the clue. Where is the symbol I need to scan? Do you guys see it? Ah, oh, okay, I see. There we go, just had to line it up. Okay. What on earth? So I need to go here. Camera angle, for God's sake. Okay, I can't change it. It won't let me. Nothing to scan then, okay. Oh gosh, so many places to slip and fall. Reach the boats. Okay. Ha! Who could have expected that? Alright. That could have almost killed us, so now we need to... Climb the crane, is that it? Fuck me. Okay. We can do it. Oh, you can do a muscle up. There you go. Is Carl still alive? Nobody killed Carl as far as I know, so maybe there will be a... Little scene. Uh, no. Marcus and Carl reunited. But why another way? Th uh. 
There you go. Carl is alive. Okay. Run! I wish I could see. Oh! I don't know, can this motherfucker make this jump? Do they really need a gigantic, swinging, no trespassing sign in the middle of the air? You guys see that? Alright, jump. That was not a jump, that was a drop! Carl, what are you doing? Sorry, Marcus. That was hardly a jump. That's not a jump, that's, that's what we call a drop, but okay. And what happened to your coat? Did it disintegrate in the water? Was it like a wafer? <laughs> How convenient. Alright. Ah, uh, this is, for some reason, this just reminded me of Dead Space. And how sad I am that there is no more Dead Space. Man, Dead Space was fun. Especially the first and second games. Also, yeah, this guy doesn't have night vision. These androids are cheap pieces of shit. Discount androids. Explore the boats. Okay. Cyberlice, fortune teller computer. No interest. Android astronauts. Nope. Okay. Don't care about any of those. Stories. Okay. This is kind of turning into that space. Bent down. Yeah. You think? <laughs> Jericho better not be a fucking necromorph. Oh, don't worry, if we get jumped by an android, we can just use stasis and the plasma cutter. Why is this whole ship rigged to fall apart? This is the worst recruitment strategy for any cult, is killing all of the potential dopes who would fall for it. Uh, Paradise, I have no idea. Whoa! Oh, this is creepy. Oh, you're creepy. Welcome to Jericho. Thanks, is that Michael Fassbender? Or is that like discount Michael Fassbender? I can't tell if that's him or just like a really, really shitty 3D scan of his head. Is it him, you guys? Is Michael Fassbender in this game? Because I love that guy. Plastic 
you. Yay, yay, yank. Chicken feed. I could go for some. Hey guys. Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages, baby. Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Ah, uh, fuck. Wait, what? What are we examining? The chicken meats? What? What's our mission, dude? All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. I'll get the bong mythical. Wait, it is Friday. Why isn't everyone getting high and drunk? What is your problem? You are, you lazy fuck. Do, as you're told. Look, you don't have to follow do you? Like a poodle. Uh huh. Says the guy who refuses to ever lift a finger. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. We should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, you sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're gonna be buddies... Oh, a piece of plastic who does, who does all of your work for you! Lazy bastard. There you go. Are we scanning the food now? Oh, wait. I don't want to see that. Oh, that's a lot of carbs, dude. Salt. Oh, that's not enough salt. It's never enough salt. Mmm, that's definitely not healthy. Pi what? Pineapple passion? God, I'm hating this man more and more. Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm starving. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, you disgust me. Follows me everywhere. Yeah, all the better for you. I'll be able to save you when you have a heart attack, you disgusting pineapple bitch. Cholesterol? Meal contains one point four times the recommended daily intake of calories, and twice the cholesterol level. <laughs> you shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. Mm-hmm. What he liked that? Oh yeah, sure. You didn't pay for your meal. Gary's a friend. Ah, friends. Mmm, so you're corrupt. Hank and Androids, Eba Connor. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, How long is your Android dick? Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? Fair enough. Androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. That is what I sound! Like no human at all! Designed to facilitate my integration. Well, Boy, suck, suck at it. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Maybe I okay. We know about He's being such a woman. Read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids. Mutation. Which can lead to them it's called a bug. In English, please. They don't really feel How much simpler could it have been? By irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. Oh, I'm 14 and this is deep. Thanks, you Hank. Deviants before? He literally told you that he's a cyborg designed to deal with deviants. Holy back, shit, my man. A deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? No, Someone has to. About me. This is like every group project in school. One guy has to do all the work and it's us. Go figure. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. 
So what's your conclusion? You're a deadbeat bitch. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. <laughs> but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. And he winks. Why didn't why don't you just call him disabled? The suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. Why don't you and I go have some fun? I'll let you Little finish. wink. I'll be in the car if you need me. Gross. Yeah, sip on your pineapple drink. You fucking monster. Who the fuck Connor. likes pineapple? What is wrong with everyone? Out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. Was that the truth or is Connor actually glitching out and shit? What do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Nobody's supposed to be living. No, here, but Tommy, it, it's not. Hiding an LED under his cap. Oh Christ! If we have to inv feathers. Investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise. We're gonna need more cops. Hey, were you really making a report back there in the elevator? Correct. Favorite guest. Hmm. Anybody home? I don't know. I don't really have a top Open up, list of please. guests, but you know, all the guys like James Allen McCune, Doug, Andrew you. Tate. Anyone who's personally interesting to me and entertaining. Hank looks so goofy. Come on. And he would have broken his leg if he had to actually kick down a door. Jesus, God, this house is filthy. Ew. What the hell? It's filthy even compared to this corridor. This looks like something out of The Last of Us. There's like spores in the air. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What did I miss? You pigeons? Jesus, this place stinks. What the hell? Well, looks like. I think we came from nothing. Our man's gone. Well, we have about 2,000 messenger pigeons, so we could start a social media site, I guess, with pigeons. Ah, uh, NATO Security Council divided over Arctic disputes, NATO warns of World War Three. Past the tipping point. Yeah, yeah. Global warming. Boo hoo. Bah ha. Blah blah. Politics. Can't go in there, I guess. Still some pigeons on the floor. Credit card. Oh, never mind. Driver's license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. Probably means a suspect is on rage. RT. Probably initials. Put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. Yeah, and when they act like you do. Fucking loser. Rag. Wait, those are the same words that the guy had in his shower. Any idea what it means? RA9. Oh, RA9, that's what that is. 471 times. Jesus. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Along with a phallic feces statue. Looks like mazes or something. Thanks for the input. You deadbeat slovenly fuck. Let's analyze the stool. Or well, the footstool, I guess. 
recently disturbed traces of avian fecal matter. Okay, so birch shit and... Oh. Still what you used recently, color. Open marker pen, okay. Midnight mood. Mm. Is there anything left here to analyze? Oh, reconstruct, okay. Suspect was here recently. Writing shit on the walls. But there's still something left to analyze, but what is it? Ah. <laughs> he fell on his ass and he ran to the living room like he scared of uh, like he's scared of the stool. Okay. Yuck. Ah, stop licking shit. Ah, yes, it's goat feces. Its LED is in the sink. Go oh, scare me. Hey, Scotland. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Different cause of a loud noise. Okay, so we're done with the bathroom, I think. Is this game only new to me, or is there anybody in the chat or watching right now who's also never played this game and doesn't know the story? I'd be interested to know. Oh, there's a bunch of clues. This guy clues all the, over the place. Birds. Never played this. I've never played... Okay, so... Alright, thank god. There's a lot of people who haven't played this with me. Urban Farms of Detroit. Okay. Mm. Hidden Bible. Oh, it's an old school book with our pages and shit. And it's a bunch of gibberish. Gibberish, gibberish. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. I don't know, Smith, I propose we watch Cats, but it never happens. But I'm always down for more movie nights. So you gotta ask the boys. Almost feel bad for these pigeons. Oh, we can analyze the cage. Jesus. Traces of pigeon shit. Big shocker. Traces of even more pick and sh pigeon shit. Pigeon shit. Galvanized steel. Okay. Wait, what? So... Suspect heard a center. Oh! It's just happened then. <laughs> I 
And he threw over the pigeon coop thing. Alright, we gotta look for some events here. Uh... Ah. Oh god, it's always the attic. God damn it, Connor, is he gonna snitch again? Connor is such a piece of shit. Whoa! God damn fucking pigeons! What are you waiting the for? Chase it! The pigeons didn't do shit, asshole. I was Damn it, I was pouring myself a drink. Okay. Space. Go! Oh my god. Space. Cornfield? Okay. Ah. Uh, easy but slow. Go with literally anyway! Go! Actually, I don't know why I'm even... Uh-oh, shit! <laughs> I missed both! What? And it still worked. Oh, I'm way too drunk for this. I'm way too drunk and I'm rooting against Connor, i.e. against myself. I don't know why I did this. Come here, you! What? Other way. Right, right, right! There you go. What the hell is this? Oh, well, we ran the wrong way. So we got... Whatever. Oh! Go! No. Ah! What are you doing? Careful. Ah, damn it! You really can't play this game one-handed, can you? <laughs> Whoops! Oh! <laughs> you better run! <laughs> Jump! W! God, I hope Connor loses. Don't you get it? Where's the helicopters and s direct but crowded? Fuck it, let's go the direct but crowded way. What? Whoa! Run! Oh Jesus Christ! Fuck you, Hank. Not only do I hope Hank dies, I hope he gets raped on the way down by an Oompa Loompa or something. Please. Fuck you. Spartan kick! Spartan kick. To be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Don't care. Model 87400496 Serious malfunctions have been detected. Connor is like Judge Dread. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. Hey, Sank. Don't you fucking move. Holy shit. You saw I was going to fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. Oh, boo hoo wah. It seemed to me. What am I to you? A statistic? Yes. A zero a one in your fucking program? You're literally less than zero to me, Hank. Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand your. Who said I see you as a human? Fuck you and your fucking assessment. Fuck you, you tubalard. 
Come here. Why are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up. Because Connor is the ultimate snitch. Snitch bot. Shut up. Come Don't worry, rogue android. Hank is about to have a heart attack. Hey, what the Whoa! Holy huh. Shit. You should try that, Hank. Maybe redeem yourself. What do you want? Fucking androids. Fuck you. Rupert. <laughs> Rupert. Oh, it's... Still wanna know if that's Michael Fassbender. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. Shut up. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. It is him, isn't it? Uh... How many are you? There are 19 of us still in working order. The rest were damaged escaping their masters. Many tried to reach Jericho. Few succeed. Humans have little pity for our kind. Yeah, I noticed. And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Can you shut up so Michael can talk? Okay. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. That's not Michael Fassbender. You're safe here. You can stay with us as long as you want. Go and see Lucy. She might be able to help you. What is this, a brothel? Settle in. Start fire, sure. Hey, and he's inhuman. Oh, she looks creepy. Let's talk to her. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, twelve from seconds. Jericho seemed as good a place as any. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. Well, these guys need spare parts and blue blood. Why hasn't anybody gone to get that? It's not that simple. You can't just go shopping at a cyber life store. Anyway, nobody wants to risk leaving Jerry. Why? I woke up in a junkyard, and I managed to get a heart, an eye, and ears. Why can't you guys salvage something? Is this just a bad Blade Runner ripoff? 
Wait, what was that? Oh, fire. Yeah, I feel like v Vicky is right. Nobody in this universe wants to work. Look at this creep. Look at this thing, person, human, android thing. Hang on, I want to zoom in on this. Look at this empty vessel. All this creature wants is to not work. It's like Hank. I've heard humans are afraid of dying too. And they don't want to work. That's why they created us to work for them. But I don't want to work either. No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. What's your name? Uh, Marcus. Jeffrey. Bob. Cornelius. Oh god, don't touch me. Yuck. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Ugh. Great, now I have leprosy. Did she just die? Ew. Why do we have these things all over the place? Fuck, what is- this is hell! This is torment! <laughs> this is gross! Hey, you look almost human. Can we talk, please? Is this discount Michael Fassbender? Can we talk? No? Fuck. Right already emptied. Cyber Life Warehouse and Docks. What? Okay. Who is Lucy? You want to talk? Nope. Okay, last hope. I, I hope this person android thing wants to talk. Of course not. Alright. I might call it a day, guys. Or a night. I'm pretty sleepy. After I light this. <sighs> okay. You know what? I will call it a night. So, we'll continue next time. Today or tomorrow or at the latest Monday. You guys have a nice night. Sleep tight. Thanks for everyone who followed and subscribed. We'll solve the robot mystery next time. Good night.